Hello, this is DIY, it's Owl 2 coming at you from the see where I live. Uh, but this, this is our part one of four parts. Part one of four parts. Um, what I'm going to invite, what I'm going to say now, uh, uh, show you now, uh, it's not going to be written in the description box below because my description box, the boxes don't always, don't, don't always come up. My uh, phone is breaking, so... I'm not going to bother with the description box. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and simplify this in different, in four parts, in four parts. For the beginner, who is studying the uh, periodic table of elements and the chemical symbols and atomic numbers, uh, this just, there may be some confusion when they look at the uh, letters or the symbols. Um, for example, we have a capital H for hydrogen and a capital O for oxygen and the atomic number for H or hydrogen is one. Atomic number for O or oxygen is eight. Now, so you know that capital H is actual hydrogen and capital O is, is uh, uh, oxygen. But what happens if you have a capital H and a small O? The O now is not an oxygen because oxygen will be capitalized into an O, oxygen. You see, so it's not oxygen anymore, the O. Now the O is part of the H. Now, we have two letters in chemical symbols, not one. The first letter gets the capital, and the second letter gets the small lowercase uh, letter. So you no longer have oxygen and, uh, and hydrogen. I mean, you don't have hydrogen and oxygen like you have here. So the H, hydrogen, O, oxygen, no, no longer. Now you have another chemical symbol, which is capital H and small O, and you have atomic numbers new now. Now the atomic number is 67. And now you have the um, chemical symbol, capital H-O, for homium. Homium is spelled capital H-O-L-M-I-U-M. Another example is capital C for carbon and capital O for oxygen. You got the atomic number for carbon is 6. The atomic number for oxygen is 8. Carbon has the uh, chemical symbol of C, capital C. In oxygen, capital O. Um, but, here it is right here. C for carbon, capital O for oxygen. Okay? But when you put the capital C, and then you put the small O next to the O C, now you have a, the, the chemical symbol for cobalt. Cobalt. Capital C-O-B-A-L-T. And the atomic number of 27. Because now you change everything around. You don't have, a, you don't have the uh, capital O for oxygen. Now, the capital C and a small O is another chemical symbol with atomic number of 27 and the name, the element's name of um, a cobalt, capital C, capital C-O-B-A-L-T. Now, you have capital S, now here's another one. You have capital O and the capital S. Capital O for oxygen, capital S for sulfur. You have atomic number of 8 for, for, for oxygen and atomic number of 16 for sulfur. Okay, so here is O for oxygen, S for sulfur. Okay, but if you take the capital O and put a small S next to it, here capital O in the, in, the, in, the, in the large S, you will change that to a capital O and a small S. Now you have, you know, you have osmium, capital O S M I U M, and the new atomic number is seventy six. OSME has an atomic number of 76. See how it works out now? How things change? Don't confuse capital S and the capital... Uh, 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 don't, don't confuse capital O with a, with a capital S for osmium. Because capital O and a capital S is for oxygen and sulfur. Capital O and a small s is for osmium with 76 atomic number. Likewise, if you have a capital N and a capital O, you got N for nitrogen and capital O for oxygen. Seven atomic number for nitrogen and, and atomic number is eight for oxygen. But, 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 if you take a capital N and put a small O next to the N, you got nobelium, which is spelled capital N-O-B-E-L-I-U-M with the atomic number of 102, 102. You see what's, you see what's, you see what's happening here? You see what's going on? Let's keep going on a little bit more for part, this is part one. We got a capital P and a capital U. The capital P is for phosphorus, the capital U is for uranium. But capital P has an atomic number of 15, 
for phosphorus and, and, and the capital U for uranium has 92 atomic number. See, P for phosphorus, capital U for uranium. But if you, if you take the capital P and put a small U next to it, now you got plutonium. Capital P L U T O N I U M. And you got the atomic number of 94. You see what I'm doing here? You see what's going on here? Let's take one more final one for part one. Let's take capital S and capital N. Capital S is sulfur and capital N is uh, nitrogen. The atomic number for, uh, for, for sulfur is 16 and capital N for nitrogen, you get the uh, atomic number of 7. You see here, S for sulfur, N for nitrogen. But if you, put, if you take the capital S and put a small N, then you have tin. Capital T... I N capital T I N for tin, with, with, with a chemical symbol of capital S and a small n, and you got the uh, atomic number of fifty. You see what's going on here? You see what I'm doing here? You see for how the beginner can make a mistake? They, 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 they may take a capital S and a capital N, and, and put it for uh, tin, but it's really sulfur and nitrogen. Capital S and a small n is for tin. Capital T I N tin. Okay. Uh, this, this is not going to be in the description box below. I hope you got it the way it is now. Uh, this is the Wise Owl 2 coming at you from the Sea Where I Live. Uh, over and out and have a good day. Bye-bye. This is part one of four. Bye-bye.